Hi, this is Dan from Dan Wagner Co. with a short tutorial on how to install Excel add-ins. Before we get into the tactics, however, I want to spend a moment talking about where to save your add-ins and why I recommend a folder different than the Microsoft default location for add-ins. So, the default location is inside the add-ins folder, which is inside the Microsoft folder, which is inside the roaming folder, inside your user app data folder. This is just a little bit too much for me to remember, especially when I'm thinking about developing VBA for a given project. And so I instead use the documents folder. I really like the documents folder because it's typically shortcutted when you double click on this PC or my computer if you're using Windows 7. It tends to be wide open in terms of files stored here, so it's an easy place to locate files. And finally, it's out of the way as compared to the desktop because I don't necessarily want to be staring at my Excel add-ins every time I'm looking at my desktop. So without further ado, let's get into the actual installation process. So first, I have my Excel add-in here on my desktop. I'm going to move this file to the Documents folder, and I won't need to use this folder anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and close that window. Then I will open Excel, go to a blank workbook if a blank workbook doesn't open up by default, click on File, select Options, Choose the Add-ins tab. Make sure that Excel add-ins is selected and then click Go. From this small window, I'll then select Browse. We wind up in the Microsoft default folder, but again, we saved our add-in to the downloads, or excuse me, to the documents directory. And so I will click on Documents select my add-in, and then click OK. The add-in will show up with the box next to it ticked, and so I will select OK. And that's the long and the short of it. This particular add-in happens to have some custom XML, which means that we have a new tab up at the top of the screen, so I know it was successfully installed. And that's how you install Excel VBA-based add-ins. Thanks.